Santo Espírito Santo. Pope Francis has declared two of his predecessors saints on Sunday in an unprecedented ceremony watched by millions of Catholics across the globe. An estimated 800,000 pilgrims gathered in St. Peter's Square to watch the canonization of John the 23rd and John Paul II. Many had camped overnight in hopes of being able to attend such a historic event. We all understand how important this is to recognize two great men in the church, two great popes and their contribution to the life of the church and how it's affected us even as far away as Australia. Never before have two pontiffs been declared saints at the same time. It's also the first time a reigning and retired pope have celebrated Mass together in public, much less at an event honoring two of their most famous predecessors. San Giovanni. John the 23rd showed an exquisite openness to the Holy Spirit. He let himself be led and he was for the church a pastor, a servant leader led by the Spirit. In his own service to the people of God, John Paul II was the Pope of the family. He himself once said that he wanted to be remembered as the Pope of the family. Kings, queens, prime ministers and presidents came from around the world to attend the ceremony. But in Pope John Paul's native Poland, many gathered at the place of his birth to pay their respects to a man revered for his teachings on human rights and dignity, one widely credited with bringing a peaceful end to communism in the country. I remember his kindness. I remember his closeness. We are so happy this is happening today. Francis's decision to canonize two of the 20th century's greatest spiritual leaders is seen as an appeal to both progressive and conservative factions of the Catholic Church. Maggie Mazzetti, Associated Press.